To another landmark change for the state now, Lindsay Park, the thoroughbred breeding and training property established by the late Colin Hayes, is up for sale. David Hayes says he's the last of the top ten big-name trainers who were based in this state. But now, like Bart Cummings and Mark Cavanagh before him, he's leaving to be closer to the big prize stakes and the big horse owners in Victoria and New South Wales. Morning trials are on at Lindsay Park in South Australia's Barossa Valley. <laughs> Trainer David Hayes is putting some three-year-olds through their paces. Within a month, all of them will have started their racing careers, adding hopefully to an extraordinary record. I think between my father and myself and Peter, we've trained nearly 6,000 winners out of this place. And I think Lindsay Park stud has bred over 10,000 winners, so the place certainly works. And morning trials help ensure that, preparing both young racehorses and also young men set to follow in their father's footsteps, like 19-year-old Ben Hayes, though judgment is reserved at this stage on both how horse and rider might shape up. I would say at the stage this group of horses are at is like going to an Oz kick match and trying to pick an AFL footballer. And the fellow on top of the horse, is he any good? Uh, not as good as he thinks, but it's uh, my eldest son. You just heard the trainer pass his judgment on you. What's your judgment on the trainer? I think he was bullshitting a bit, <laughs> personally. <laughs> he's down here, isn't he? It's yeah, just on the rock. But the good-natured banter hides a huge change at hand. For David Hayes, the breeding and training dynasty here has run its race. He's moving to Euroa in Victoria, the historic heart of Lindsay Park, 900 acres, the homestead and the stables are for sale. All yours if you have the expected price tag of 14 to $16 million. It was a bit of a wrench to make that decision and make that initial jump. There's been a few people say, how could he do it? Or, But my attitude is, you know, a lot of businesses relocate and that's all I'm doing is relocating. And, and a lot of people sell their homes and move into another home. And I'm not the Lone Ranger. Lindsay Park was established in the early 60s by David Hayes' father, the late Colin Hayes. John Letts is one of many jockeys who have ridden Hayes' trained and bred horses to victory, including in the Melbourne Cup, which is a great story for the grandkids. He was trained there with a horse called Beldar Ball, whom I won the 1980 Melbourne Cup on, and so Lindsay Park, I oh gee, I owe a lot, but a lot of other winners as well. In the early days, Colin Hayes worked from stables at Semaphore in the city. Having horses in the country seems plainly obvious now, but John Letts remembers in the 1960s it was visionary and therefore naturally unpopular. There were so many people, the sceptics said that it won't work, but Colin Hayes' thoughts on, on, a race, on racehorses were take them back to nature, make them feel happy, make them comfortable, instead of being locked up in the city, take them out and give them the free to roam. He said they are herd animals and they like, like to roam. Through combining the breeding, training and spelling of thoroughbred racehorses, Lindsay Park earned a worldwide reputation, attracting crowned heads with a healthy interest in horses. and wealthy interests with a renowned head for horses. English racing tycoon, the late Robert Sangster, and a number of Arab sheiks are amongst Lindsay Park's customers. But that world has changed, and racing industry figures say South Australia no longer competes at that level. It's very hard to keep a, a national top 10 trainer uh, based here. Uh, I've lasted a long time based out of here, um, and uh, probably the last of the big trainers uh, to leave. But it doesn't mean I won't be coming back. I, I hope to be a regular shuttling horses over from Victoria as I have from here to Victoria, but I'm just going to do it in reverse. And I can see where his point is. His horses go from Euroa into Melbourne, it's only a couple of hours float trip, whereas if he takes them from Lindsay Park into Melbourne, it's eight to nine, ten hours overnight.
While David Hayes argues racing remains strong in this state, the facts for him are that just 2% of his clients come from Adelaide. But it's not all about Victoria either. Moving puts his horses closer to Sydney, a huge racing market that David Hayes plans to compete in more often. It is, however, the breeding that has changed the most. David Hayes says it's neither his strength nor his interest, and these days it's beyond even his means, with the very best stallions costing as much as $20 million. When my father bred and trained, there, there were never the huge international conglomerates here like Darley, Coolmore, um, a big public company like Arrowfield. The face of breeding, uh, uh, to be the best of breeding, uh, I don't have enough money to do it at a level. Um, but I know I have a skill in training and I can be at the top level of trainers in the country um, if I have the right horses and the right facility. Some of the stallions are now a, a horse like Reduced Choice uh, and a horse like uh, Encosta de Lago. Reduced Choice service fee was up to $300,000 and I mean, we just couldn't afford it. Then there are the people. Lindsay Park employs about 60 people. David Hayes says he's offering jobs in Melbourne, but ties will keep many in the Barossa. He hopes another horse lover, albeit a very rich one, buys Lindsay Park, and the trainer is happy that current zoning means it can't be subdivided. It is a cliche, but it is also the end of an era. Then again, Colin Hayes was apparently fond of another saying, the future belongs to those who plan for it. I just think it's a, a, a move forward. It's probably a move my father made 47 years ago when he moved from Semaphore to Lindsay Park. A lot of people couldn't understand that. Um, he had the vision and, and could see it. And I think it's a, my move from Lindsay Park Angerston to Lindsay Park Euroa um, is probably similar. I just think it'll be setting it up better for my children. Well, let's hope there's someone out there with a spare 15 minutes.